injured. Israel faced outrage abroad and questions at home over its botched raid on an aid flotilla in international waters that ended with soldiers killing nine activists. After the aid convoy refused to stop when ordered to do so by Israeli forces, helicopters dropped commandos onto the decks of the ships. Fighting broke out and at least ten people were killed. The raid has provoked the most ferocious international condemnation of Israel since its war with the Hamas-controlled Gaza Strip a year and a half ago. This latest show of aggression is likely to increase pressure in Israel to end the blockade that has deepened the poverty of 1.5 million Palestinians living in the Strip. In Sydney, about a thousand people marched on the city's town hall shouting anti-Israel and anti-American slogans. Protests were also held in Melbourne and in the nation's capital, Canberra. Protesters burned candles and waved flags outside the Israeli embassy. And in Indonesia, thousands took to the streets in several cities to protest the raid by Israeli commandos. In downtown Jakarta, about 200 protesters wearing white clothes staged a rally at the Welcome Monument, unfurling banners and posters condemning Israel. We urge the leaders of Islamic countries, who are members of the Islamic Conference Organization, to take effective steps by sending troops to the region. If every country is to send 1,000 troops, that means there are 57,000 troops, which could be an effective tool to prevent the next brutality of the Israeli army. Indonesia has strongly condemned the attack on the aid convoy that was carrying 12 Indonesian citizens. Indonesia, the world's most populous Muslim nation, has long supported the Palestinian cause.